My brother Carson and I have lived in North Florida since we were teenagers. One day, we decided to make some horse training videos and sell them online. We created an online membership site where people could join to watch our videos and learn how to fix horse problems. Two years later, our company was grossing over $1 million a year and growing fast. But it was impossible to do everything ourselves, so we hired our mom for customer support and our dad to be in charge of shipping and handling. Maintaining a multi-million dollar company comes with enough stress of its own, but when the whole family's involved, it's on an entirely new level. Especially when everybody thinks they're the boss. So I don't really know how all of this happened, but a while back I was riding some horses and my brother Jared came up and just wanted to film it. So I said, sure, go ahead. And then that was all I knew about it. And then about three weeks later, he walked up and handed me a check for like $15,000. And this was more money than I'd ever seen in my life. You know, before that, my life savings was like $500 I would just keep hidden in a sock in my top dresser drawer. And he said, remember those horse videos we filmed? I said, yeah. And he said, well, people really, really liked them. My name is Jared Rodenizer. I am the owner and founder of CarsonJames.com LLC. So with my background in video production and marketing, I decided to make a few videos of Carson, you know, teaching people how to train horses. And I thought, man, we could really, really, really make some money off of this. And, you know, help people with their horse problems too. So fast forward to today, we've created hundreds of more videos and now our customers access everything online through our membership website. And now this is pretty much my full-time job and... Dad! Dad! We're in the middle of an interview. I'm Jared Carson's dad. My name is Butch. And even though all the videos are online now, we still sell quite a few of Carson's horse training DVDs. So I'm in charge of the shipping. And even though Jared doesn't pay me anything, I'm glad to help. Although I do wish Jared would get a warehouse or something because all the closets in the house are filled up with inventory for the business. Yeah, running a business from home can have its challenges, but when it's your parents' home, it has a lot more. And, you know, we've been using this spare room in their house as the office, and, you know, it's not like 100% convenient. I have to drive over here every single day, but, you know, it sure as heck beats having to pay for office space or buy an office building. I'm Brooke, Carson's wife. I do all of the filming and editing for all the videos that we add to our membership site. Over the last few years, we've added a ton of videos covering topics from how to train your horse to how to fix any horse problem you could possibly think of. Now, even though we have all of these videos, people still want new stuff and they want to see new horses being trained. So there's always something that's needed to be filmed. How was that? I think it was good. Mm, all right. And this used to be my room when I lived here. Uh, it was not painted this color. They repainted it when I moved out. Uh, this is a picture of Carson when he worked on a really big cattle ranch out west. They're doing some uh, branding in that picture. And here's another picture of Carson uh, roping some calves, doing the whole cowboy thing. Uh, and this is the office. This is where all of the magic happens. Uh, there's my desk right there. That's where all of the money is made. This little cabin was on the place when we first bought it, and originally we were going to tear it down because it was pretty nasty, but then we thought it might be good for storage, so we decided to clean it up and restore it a little bit. And here lately, I'm really glad we did because the business has taken over my house and every day I'm losing more and more room for my stuff. Do y'all not have anything in this house besides a decaf? So now we're going to provide your office and your coffee too? I'm Julie, 
Jared and Carson's mom, and I do all the customer support for the business. When everything first started a few years ago, Jared's wife, Rebecca, did the customer support. And then one day they asked me to help out a little. And before I know it, it's my full-time job. But I actually love this job. I'm really efficient and good at solving problems and making sure everything gets done the right way. And if I hadn't taken over customer support when I did, this business would not have lasted much longer. CarsonJames.com How come there's no pictures of me? There's, there's pictures of you. They're all of Carson. Well, I've got pictures of you. Um, look, look, there's a picture of you right there. That's like 20 years old. Yeah, right before you started getting fat. The reason we have these ranch pictures of Carson all around the house is because I just love the scenery. And they remind me of back in the day when Butch and I worked at some of those same ranches. I'm really glad at least one of our kids decided to follow in our footsteps. Hey, Carson. Hey. Hey, you want a sandwich? Oh, yeah, that sounds good, I guess. Thanks. Hey, I'd like one too, please. You don't need one. Dad had a large... Hey. Hey, did my package come yet? Did you really call just to see if your package was here? We usually love talking about my package. No, it's not here yet. I'll text you when it gets here. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm Jared's wife. I guess you can say I'm the laid back one of the group, which really balances out Jared's intense personality. And I have no problem letting them spend their days trying to figure out who the real boss is because I spend my days trying to convince two little people they are not the boss. Say bye to daddy. Bye daddy. Bye. <laughs> All right, I told y'all last week we needed to come up with some new ideas to bring some more money into this company. Now, you, you said you had an idea. Well, we could make a new course for the membership site and call it trail riding, about riding on trails on your horse. Making a new course is gonna cost a ton of money, it's gonna take a lot of time, and we already have like a thousand videos on how to make a good trail horse. Carson, cool. did you have any ideas? Yeah, I think she had it. I think we should do what she was saying about doing like a trail riding course and then putting on there. Oh my gosh. CarsonJames.com. Is it really too much to ask to turn the phone off while we're having these meetings? I've told mom time and time again, you do not have to answer the phone every single time it rings. That's why we have voicemail. Yes, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. If you're not going to turn that phone off during these meetings, can you at least please put it on silent? When the phone rings, if I don't answer it, then they leave a voicemail and then I have to call them back. Well, what if they can't answer? And so then they have to call me back and then I have to call them back and it just goes on and on. So when the phone rings, I'm gonna answer it. Okay, well, we're obviously not getting anywhere in this meeting. So Carson, let's just go to your house and make that Instagram video. So today, for just $19.99, you can get a copy no, of our... No, stop, 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 stop. Listen, you sound like a broken record. You have to put some more energy and life into your voice. Jared, you really need to stop being afraid of horses. I'm We've not... been doing this for like a year, like I'm, a long listen, time. I'm not afraid of the horse. Do it again. More energy. I'm really good at communicating. I really enjoy communicating, and I really enjoy finding ways to break things down for people and horses. It's really kind of both the same deal. So... I'm very comfortable doing that because I enjoy it and I understand it. But then Jared wants me to turn around and sell something and I just cannot do it. I, I have a really hard time and I'm just not a salesman. So today for only $19.99 no, no, you no. can... You sound like a used car salesman. Tone it down. Tone it down. Not so much. All right. 
So today, for just $19.99, you can get a copy of our DVD, Horsemanship Fundamentals, for only $19.99 when you sign up for a free trial today. Uh, that'll work. Let me see. Why did you film it like that? You're supposed to film it this way. Because you you filmed it like this. I always say, film it like this. This is a promo for Instagram. Anytime we're filming for Instagram, it's up and down. The only time you film like this is when we're doing a video for YouTube or for Facebook or something professional. When we're doing a promo for Instagram, it's always up and down. You know this. I've told you this like a million times. Do it again. Do it again. Working for Jared is pretty much how I would imagine it would be like if I worked for Gordon Ramsay. Nothing's ever good enough, and you get yelled at a lot. I think we got a squirrel problem. I'm on the way to my friend Jack's house. He called me up and said that he's got a horse he wants me to come check out. Said it rides around really good, uh, real broke and everything, but just wanted me to give him my personal opinion of it. So I'm gonna head up there and play around with this horse for a little bit. So my buddy Carson's in town, hadn't seen him in forever, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him. I called him up, told him that I had a horse out here because he won't come visit me unless I call him and tell him I need some help with something. So we're going to check this horse out when he gets here and see what he's like. I told him he's good, but I hadn't actually rode him yet. So hopefully uh, he is what I said he was. <laughs> This happens all the time. Somebody calls up and wants me to come get on their broke horse and then come to find out it's really not broke at all. Like, I don't think Jack has ever even been on this horse. All right, we still have not come up with any new ideas to make more money for this company. I mean, you had an idea, but it really wasn't that good. So, Carson, what are you doing? I was just writing down these notes to give to Jack so he can help him get that horse to stop bucking. Why are you always writing notes during my meetings? I just like to make these to give them to the horse owners to help them fix their horse problems. Well, why don't you just make copies and then you could sell them and like make some money? That's it. What? That's our new product. That's it. That's brilliant. Yes, that is exactly what we need. That's why I'm the boss on the next episode of Horse Boss. The boys have decided to switch places today. Welcome members, my name is Jared and today I'm gonna be showing you how to train a horse to lunge. Why do we sell them something that we don't have in stock right now? The website is down, nobody can log in. People just don't realize how dangerous these squirrels are. This is a total disaster. It's just a total mess. Thanks for your patience, bye-bye. Just to be on the record, I was not on board with this idea.